Three people died in separate incidents in Kisumu and Kajiado counties in what residents claimed are instances of wanton insecurity in their respective areas. Two bodies were found in Kajiado bearing stab wounds on the head while one woman succumbed to deep cuts allegedly inflicted by a gang terrorizing residents of Kisumu's Rabuor area. Laura Otieno gives us more details. An irate mob stormed the Rabor police station on Tuesday morning, calling for the resignation of station OCS Wycliffe Quendo on grounds of incompetence following the death of one woman who was reportedly attacked by a machete wielding gang on Monday night. The gang has visited terror on area residents, allegedly attacking seven people in a span of three days. Tunasema, either OCS are sacked or are transferred ahede kwingine, because we are tired of him. Tunaona him being here does not bear any fruit with it. Mama Wawido alikara unapanga pale. Tumesa kuwa na insecurity mingi hapa, kukata kuhizi. Na mula akisika mutu hapa, amependa... Kenya ina hitu wa soya. Amependa pesa wongu. Kadibu Sub-County Commissioner Angeline Were assured residents of increased patrols in the area to curb instances of insecurity. Investigations are ongoing. Meanwhile, two bodies were also discovered in Isenia on Tuesday morning bearing stab wounds. One of the victims who worked as a security guard was found in his house with the second body of a water border operator found in a thicket bearing similar wounds. Area residents asking security agencies to tighten the noose on culture who are responsible for the high levels of insecurity in Isenia. Mweshimu Olokosa ni nakuomba uingilia kati pamoja na serikali yetu tukufu. Waone ya kwamba usalama hapa imepatikana. Watoto yetu kuwawa kinyama tunaona nikitu ambao inatumiza sana mwenu mwetu. The bodies of the two have been moved to the Kajiado County morgue as police launch investigations into the separate incidents. Tiano Citizen TV.